What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S20 Ultra leaks and rumors are heating up as we're only less than 12 days away from the unpacked event scheduled to take place on the 9th of February. One of the most compelling things about the S22 Ultra is that it will be a successor to the Galaxy Note, meaning we'll see an integrated S Pen along with a wider display and squared off design. But that isn't the only reason people are excited for the S22 Ultra, the camera is another big reason. Even though there are no major camera hardware changes, Samsung, according to rumors, has managed to improve the quality substantially. One of the aspects is the night mode. Samsung themselves said that the S22 Ultra will feature the best-in-class night photography. And to promote that, they've released a new trailer with messages reading Break the rules of light and break through the night. The South Korean tipster gives more insight on this, saying that the time taken for the night photos, meaning the time the camera shutter remains open, is similar to the S21 Ultra. But despite that, the image quality is so much better that the S22 Ultra is now in its own league when it comes to night photography, much better than what Apple and Google currently offer. Even mentioned that in night mode, the average time taken by the handset is 3 seconds under normal conditions and 6 seconds when it's pitch black, which is similar to the S21 Ultra. Moving on, we also have a complete specification leak of all the S22 variants. If you've been following the S22 updates, then nothing here should be really surprising, but it's good to see everything compiled in one place which will give you a better idea. One thing I'd like to point out is that even though all the S22 handsets now have LTPO displays, which is awesome, but they are not totally the same. I mean, the display on the S22 Ultra is a true LTPO that can go from 1Hz to 120Hz, while on the S22 and S22 Plus, it can go from 10Hz to 120Hz, which honestly won't make a huge difference, but I thought you should know. Either way, all the S22 handsets will now have brighter displays, and here's how it compares to the S21 handsets. Next, a couple of days ago, we also got the official European prices, but we still have no idea how these handsets will be priced in the United States. Well, a new survey sent out by Google themselves might give us an idea. According to the survey, the S22 will be priced at $899, $1099 for the S22 Plus, and $1299 for the S22 Ultra, basically a $100 increase compared to the S21 variants. Now keep in mind that this is not an official leak, it's just a survey conducted by Samsung to test the user's reaction to these prices. I still think the US prices will match the Euro prices, which means $849 for the S22 and $1249 for the S22 Ultra. We'll know soon enough on the 9th of February. Also, you might know that Samsung is offering $50 of credit for pre-registering the S22 in the US. While it seems Samsung is offering higher discounts for some countries. Notably, Sweden is getting a 100 euro discount, which is the highest we've ever seen. The Netherlands, on the other hand, is getting 50 euro credit. Of course, with that being said, do consider subscribing for all the latest updates on the S22. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.